Welcome to my tutorial on creating um, envelopes. This is in online canvas. We're just going to go and grab a shape, strap, grab a rectangle, and we'll resize it to the size you need to measure your card to make sure you make the right size envelope. Take off the maintain aspect ratio and place in your measurements. Now I'm doing a five by seven uh, card, so I'm just going to make the envelope slightly larger. So um, you can see it's going to be five by 05 and uh, seven by 05. So you can make it fairly well as large as you like, as long as it fits on your mat. <laughs> duplicate your shape. So right click and duplicate and copy the shape and change the lines to uh, be dot dash lines. And now we're going to make the top and the bottom. So I'm going to do a bit of a fancy top. So I'll pick that shape, just bring it down and stretch it out. And let's make it a little bit taller at the top and move it down so it hasn't got that little bend. Actually, I would have used, um, you'll see on the left, there's another shape that's got flatter sides. Same shape but flatter size, perhaps use that one, that might be a bit better one. Just mix and match the shapes to, to make what you um, think you might like. I'm going to use this little circular triangle shape just to get a bit of interest at the top of the page. Top of the envelope, stretch it out to as wide as what you need. Move it around so it kind of looks how you want it to look. So once you've got it in the spot upwards and downwards that you're happy with, select the um, entire project. Just click away. Oh, actually, just add a little point first. So I'll just get this a bit in line. Go down and find a different shape, uh, maybe. Um, maybe that one. Now you can use a little uh, swivel knob at the top that just turns it around. Another way to do it as well, I'll show you that in a little while. This is quite an easy way, it's just uh, not as precision perhaps. Now align this to where you're happy with how it looks. I like them all. And go over to the edit panel and center everything so they're all in the correct alignment and then go back up to the edit panel and weld them all together and you've got your first part of your shape for your card you can pick any shape uh, for this card i've just happened to pick this one um, now i'll we'll add a bottom to it so find a shape that's suitable for the bottom i might just grab this one here and you can use the 90 degree or 180 degree, whatever. Just put 90 for the moment. I'm going to flip it just to show you how you can flip as well. So I've got it in that position. Go up to edit. And there's your little flip choices. We'll just flip it up right. So it's the exact opposite. Set it up on the bottom there. It needs to fit in your mat. That's your, your key criteria is it fits in your mat. Or fits on your mat and also um, on your card, cardstock. So we'll align it again, center align. Uh, fairly happy with that. Now just double click that and you'll see these little nodes come up. If you haven't used nodes before, I'm just going to go and maneuver that down so that, that joins up into the corner. A little bit of a fiddle and grab the other side of the node and just give it a slightly different angle. And see, now you can also see there's some um, icons to make some more changes. So you just move it up. You need to look at it a bit better because it just needs to overlap to weld. So that's the overlap margin. Move it down a little bit. If you haven't got enough, you can undo and redo. Go up to edit and weld. 
and you can see it's all welded that line's gone zoom back out so you can see what you're doing now we need to add some sides and we might use um, this shape this one here just scroll the mat up a little bit more so you can see and just rotate that one as well like you did before or you can use the little rotate icon at the top of the shape it's a little bit more accurate to use the um, rotation because you've got your exact 90 degrees sometimes it's a little bit hard to get your angles exactly right place it into position and stretch it down you need to get it so it's aligned correctly we're just going to make this a little bit different angle to what the shape is we'll just make it a little bit more of a off size one like an envelope would be and of course it needs to overlap enough so it will weld and just go and check that by zooming in and just move it around so you be happy with it and it just needs to be a little bit bigger you can see it doesn't didn't come quite to the end there that's not too bad so now we right click and duplicate again so we have two of them and flip it over we go over to edit and flip now you've got one for exactly the same for the other side so do your your adjustments before you create the duplicate so you've got them exactly the same hold your shift key down and select them both and um, align them horizontally so they're at the same height and select all of your pattern Oops, one too many. Come forward. Now I'll just click away and show you how I've done that. So it's all selected. You can just um, drag your mouse over the all the all the shapes to highlight. So we've got the blue dot around and weld. And there you've got the basic shape. Now this little rectangle is exactly the right size for the center, and you can place it in the middle. And once again, you can center align it. And it looks pretty good. There's another way of doing it as well. So you could group it at this point, and then it's one piece, and that would be finished for this envelope. But we're just going to undo some of that. Just hit the undo button a couple of times. So we'll just put our shape back over there. And this little tool here is a path tool. And you just click and hold your shift key down, it will give you straight lines. Go to the four corners that you need the envelope to go to. Click on that one so it finishes the, the path and go down and choose the dashed line in the properties section again. And then once again, so there it's exactly the same. You've, you've, you've just done it a little bit different way. Um, as you can see, just point out it's a little bit uh, skew with so the other way is the first way I did it was a, a little bit more accurate just there uh, but still it would work okay and just go up and group it like you did before so now you've got um, the the first way that I did it which is actually a pretty simple way of doing it and the second way thank you for joining me mm -hmm.